So, you fought in a lot of wars, right? You've never had anything like Ragnarok on your side? I have. And the creature does not guarantee our victory. Right. This place is going to fall apart if those keep happening. quiet, but this feels different. I had hoped my days of ceaseless battles were over. I had hoped to never see my son go to war. That is me. My usefulness to a certain Vania Numpty did run out. Ragnarok awaits our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? We've some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, father. Is there anything you want to finish up? This is it then. The be 
beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite? They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they? <gasps> Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can? Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack. Ah! this time. Things went well enough in Muspelheim. I mean, probably. Surtur didn't want Samara involved, so instead of them combining to form the Ragnarok beast, we did a workaround that left her out of it. Well, hopefully he still shows up at Ragnarok to plunge his sword into the heart of Asgard. And where is that exactly? Only Surtur knows. Okay, ready when you are. are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow, the Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The Elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hel's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him, but there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun, it's good to see you so alive. Oh. Yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Amir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just sleep on it. Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Excuse me. 
May I have a moment with Nanir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more, except perhaps a dance. Though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I could never argue with you. Can I sleep here tonight? Let's quiet your mind. I can't. Then I will tell you a story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Thank you. 
down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. And he, he called for death to come to him. And when death arrived, He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us, watching over us. Leading us home? Does my request upset you? Death is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. You are quiet? I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. The funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? Mm. In my land, we entomb our loved ones. You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. Circumstance, yes. But not on purpose. Mm. You prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me. 
whenever that day comes. For you. And for our son. <sighs> we will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. Feel your absence. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent and you have gathered my ashes, Spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. To grieve deeply is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir. you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. good place right now but who is i'm sorry lunda i know you and bro just tell me you're gonna get odin tell me whatever it takes you're not letting that bastard walk away from this he will not damn right 
And if in the process you happen to tear him a bucket load of new holes in places he don't want them, I'll be rightly obliged. Leave some hands. Now those are some angry knives. Ought to make Odin's spear look like a toothpick. Now go show it all. fits. It fits. Good fit. Oh, do you think it wise to go off without stocking up? You may never get a chance again. I'm so sorry that was dark. And a little one? Mm, know what you want?
General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. Prophecy did not lead us here, nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered. Enough! No matter the cost. This ends... today. And going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too? That's where I'll be. A big, fat smile on my face. For Brock. after Niflheim next. They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. Gotta stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. Wait. Ingrid, we don't have time. I know. work to do. You three, follow. Atreus. Freya, with me. Watch our flanks. To the war machines. This way! Oh, <laughs> 
new Valkyrie Queen is Gnar. I would think so. Then we must hurry. Eyes up! Careful, brother. Covered in by Behind you! Look out!
Looks like the giant giants made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind, later. The Ain Heryar's link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. Still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Rally all you can. We will make for this fall of Huntawa. So what's the plan? How are we gonna breach the wall without Ragnarok? The war machines. Oh, so we're pretty desperate, huh? Yeah, you got it. Dwarves are dying for this. Save, Save it. Odin forced them to build those war machines. And I'm here to tear them down. Before you break them, we must turn them on the floor. Fine. Leave it to the dwarves to clean up after the giant. <laughs> <laughs> what you wanted. I, I didn't want this. No. Close your heart to it. Close your heart. Who are they? My guardians. Odin took them in. They shouldn't be here. They're not soldiers. Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice... ...everything. What are you doing? Listen closely. 
You feel their pain because that is who you are. And you must never sacrifice that. Never. Not for anyone. I was wrong, Atreus. I was wrong. Open your heart. Open your heart to their suffering. That is your mother's wish. And mine as well. Today, sir. Today, we will be better. But what can we do? See the size of that thing? I don't think we're gonna win. I mean, if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we... We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Rimbo's flaw. With what army? Atreus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice, not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three. Get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Fred and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not mindless before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! Protect him! I will help those that are trapped and meet you at the wall. Go! Go, Atreus! Uh. 